Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be filming a what is in my hospital bag and what's in my diaper bag for delivering my first child during July 2020 during the middle of a pandemic in Florida. So yeah, because it is in the middle of a pandemic, I am trying to take as little as possible um, just because I'm kind of concerned about the germs and everything and anything that I'm taking, I am taking into consideration that it's all going to have to be washed and sanitized when we get home. Um, so this might not look like a lot and to some of you it might look like too much. Um, it's just all preference. You know, it's up to you like what you want to bring to make you feel comfortable and prepared and safe during childbirth. And this is my first time giving birth. So I don't know what to expect uh, completely from like personal perspective. So yeah, just keep that in mind. If you see anything that is missing that I need, let me know. And if you see anything that I have that is totally unnecessary, also let me know so that I can take it out and just take as little as possible with me. So the first thing that I'm bringing is my bobby pillow. I know this is a pretty controversial thing to bring because I don't think the people at the hospital love it when people bring these because it just takes up so much space. But I feel like in order to like feel as prepared for breastfeeding as I can that I, I need this. I'm gonna need that support um, for the baby when I first have her. So I am definitely bringing this and um, I have another one in the crib. So when we get home, I can just take the cover off and put the cover and the pillow, just throw it in the wash completely and have another one to use while it is getting washed. So this is definitely something that I am keen on bringing. Let me know if you brought yours and how it went for you. Um, I think I'm going to start with what's in my bag first. Um, so the bag I am bringing is a Vera Bradley um, like duffel bag. I've had this for years. I used to use it for dance competitions. Um, and it's just trusty and it's fabric. So if I want to throw it completely in the wash when I get home, I can and it'll be completely clean and sanitized. On top of my hospital bag, I have this handy dandy hospital bag checklist that I printed off of Pinterest. Um, and I am just keeping it with my bag just so that I make sure that before we leave, I have everything checked up on this list. So this is handy dandy. The first thing I have is my iPad. Um, this is gonna be good for my husband and I to like watch anything on and keep ourselves entertained while I'm in labor um, if we want. And even after she's born too, um, I'll also bring my charger obviously, but just my iPad. I don't wanna bring anything bigger than this because that would just be too much to look after and too much weight. Um, and then I have some bags. So in this bag, this is stuff that I usually take when we go to Disney World, but in this bag, I just have some like essential care items. I have my hairbrush. Um, I have my hydrocortisone cream because I have really bad eczema. Um, for a facial spray, I'm using this Mario Badescu uh, facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. This is the travel size. Um, I use this stuff on my face every day, so just threw that in there. I have my native lilac and white tea deodorant. Um, for facial moisturizer, I'm bringing my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. This is just the one that I'm currently using right now. Um, I'm bringing this hand cream because I hear that you get really, really dry in the hospital. Um, and this one is by is from the Grove Collaborative and it's in the bergamot orange scent. So just in case if I feel like super dry, I'm also bringing this. This is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. This was the like Sephora birthday gift for this year. Um, I'm bringing my favorite chapstick, which is the EOS Sweet Mint Chapstick. Um, this is a brand new tube ready to go because I know that chapstick is a must 
when you're staying at the hospital because your lips get so dry. I also have some lanolin nipple cream. Um, I don't know if I'm going to need this in the hospital, but I'm bringing it just in case. And then the last thing in here is just some Purity uh, Facial Cleansing Wipes. Um, if I feel like I want to take my makeup off or my face just doesn't feel great, but I don't have the energy to actually wash my face, I am bringing these just to make it a bit easier on myself. So that's everything in the first like cosmetic bag. And then in this little bag, I have like very little makeup I'm gonna be bringing as well as some other things. So the only makeup I'm bringing is my brow pencil and some mascara. I just don't think I'm going to be bothered enough to either wanna put on a full face of makeup during labor or after she's born for photos. Um, I don't wear makeup on a daily basis and I just think that, this, that makeup is gonna be the furthest thing from my mind. So this is all I am bringing for makeup, so. Hopefully I won't regret that. Um, I also have some hair ties and a hair clip in here, um, just in case I want to do my hair or get it out of my face or what have you. And then I have three little rollerball perfumes that I got recently from Macy's and they're by, I guess they're by the brand Clean or whatever. Um, they smell really nice and they're small and I'll have like, three different choices to choose from, which is probably a little extra while staying in the hospital, but depending on my mood or whatever, I'll have these to put on to feel fresh and clean. So that's everything that's in this little bag. And then I have this Ziploc bag full of stuff for my husband and I. I don't wanna bring full-size shampoo, conditioner, body wash, cause of germs i just want to be able to take just a little just all that we need so we can use it up and throw it away and not worry about bringing it home and sanitizing it so i have two loofahs which we will probably just throw away when we're done with them so i have two of these i have some shampoo and conditioner by tresemme um i'm pretty sure that um will at least finish the shampoo if not both um, I have some Cetaphil face facial cleanser. Um, you can probably get through most of that. This I know we'll definitely finish because my husband and I use a ton of body wash when we take a shower. And it's just the Dove Deep Moisture Body Wash. And then I got a travel size toothpaste. This is the toothpaste that we use on a daily basis. And then I got us um, two toothbrushes these are these are like a dollar literally for two so they're super cheap um i definitely don't want to bring our nice electric toothbrushes to the hospital and have them get all gross so yeah this this is all of our bathroom essentials that we will have for the hospital and hopefully we use everything and just can throw it all away before we come home okay now we'll get into like my clothes and my postpartum essentials. For actual clothes, I'm trying to not bring very much at all. So this is what I have for like clothes. I have two tops. This one is just this white top I got recently from Francesca's. It's really flattering. I think, I, I mean, it's flattering when I'm pregnant. So hopefully it's flattering when I'm not pregnant too. Um, and it's just got these flower details and it's pretty loose so I can like bring it down and breastfeed easily. So I got that shirt. And then this shirt is one of my go-tos, pregnant or not. It's just this loose flowing black and white striped top. And again, it'll be good for breastfeeding because it's loose and I can pull it over easily. Um, and then I have one sweater. This is just a really loose sweater I have from Victoria's Secret. All my clothes are like oversized on me. I don't know why I don't wear tight clothing except for what I'm wearing right now um but yeah this just in case it gets chilly in the hospital or what have you again I don't know how many days we're gonna be there I want to be prepared but not pack too much um I have one pair of pregnancy leggings right here for the ride home and then I have just two pairs of sweatpants um either for going to the hospital or going home from the hospital. It just depends on how I feel. 
So that's all I have for like regular clothing. I have a pair of flip flops for the shower and for walking around the hospital while I'm in labor. Um, I'm trying to go as long as I can without getting an epidural or not getting an epidural at all so I can walk around and help my labor progress faster. I'm bringing this Freedom Mom upside down peri bottle. I thought about not bringing this and just using the hospital one so I don't have to get this one dirty, but I think I'm going to bring it just in case. Um, I might not use it, but I think I'll feel better if I have this in my bag in case the one that they give me just really isn't doing the trick. So this is just like the first like just in case items that I have. And then I have some like pajama, like loungy stuff type things to wear. I have this gray robe that my sister-in-law got me. Um, it's from Old Navy and it has the sash right here. Um, I probably might want to either labor in this. Um, I definitely know I'm going to want it afterwards for breastfeeding. So this I know I will definitely use. And then I have kind of like three sets of PJs here. Depending on how I feel following birth immediately, I don't know how comfortable I'm going to be. I don't know if I'm going to have stitches or whatnot. Um, so the first outfit I've shared before, it's this... Um, pink long button-up sweater which is perfect for breastfeeding and it's oversized so this will be nice if I just want to feel kind of cute and put together um, again we're not gonna be able to have any visitors but for pictures or anything I might want to look cute and then these are the shorts um, they smell really good they smell like baby laundry <laughs> but if I'm like super hot postpartum the these shorts are going to be great. Um, I also have this PJ set from Victoria's Secret that I've showed you guys, um, which I think is going to be what I'm going to want because it's black and it's flattering and it's buttoned down and it's really, really soft material. So I'm probably going to want this the most and it's still like pretty enough for pictures um, afterwards. So we have that set and then the matching pants and then the last set I have I might not even need it's this nightgown this gray nightgown um, it's pretty loose so I think I would be able to breastfeed pretty easily in this and then just in case I'm packing these shorts to wear underneath it just for some extra security especially after giving birth so yeah I know it seems like a lot and I feel like maybe I am packing one or two too many outfits between the pajamas and the actual clothes um, but I just don't know how long we're gonna be there I don't know if I'm gonna have a c-section or not um, I could be there for one night I could be there for three night three or four nights I don't know yet so um, I'm just trying to come prepared for underwear all I'm bringing are these mesh uh, reusable pants that I got from Amazon my sister-in-law recommended these um, I know the hospital will provide me with some mesh panties, and I know a lot of people swear by those, so I probably will wear those too, but just in case, I'm going to bring these as well, if those don't work out for me for any reason. So I have four pairs of these, so between like these and what the hospital gives me, I think that's plenty. Um, you never want to underpack your underwear. <laughs> Um, and then I just have a handful of socks. Um, I wear socks pretty much 24 seven and I know I'm never gonna wanna be barefoot in the hospital. So I have about five pairs of socks to get me through the stay at the hospital. Um, I have one nursing bra packed right now. I'm wearing my other one. Um, this is one of the last minute things I'll throw in the bag. Um, this one is just from Target and yep, just regular old nursing bra so I'll have two of these ideally packed. Then for postpartum care I know that they supply you with those really big um, like diaper pads and I'm definitely probably going to use those at first but I'm bringing a few of my own and these are just I think they're by Kotex they're just overnight pads bringing them just in case um, my bleeding is a lot lighter than I expect and I don't feel like wearing the big 
long pads. I have these. And then these are two samples of some disposable nursing pads and breast milk bags. Um, just in case, um, I don't know if my nipples are going to be leaking at all, but I'll have these just in case they are. And then I have a big old thing of Germex, which I'm probably going to like place on the little like side table that they have by your table, by your bed that is. So that's very important. This is a bag of some more nursing pads that my sister gave me to try. So I just threw them in there in case those ones don't work out. And that is everything in my hospital bag. Again, if you think that I am missing anything or am packing something that I don't need to bring, just let me know in the comments. Um, this is my first rodeo. But now I'll show you what I have packed for our baby girl. Um, her diaper bag is by Birdling. Um, I talked about it in my, uh, what I got for my baby shower video, um, but it's just this nice pinky rose dusty color, um, and it's a backpack as well, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you what's inside. First of all, in this side pocket, I have two copies of my birth plan, um, I haven't talked about my birth plan yet, I might do that in a separate video. Um, but yeah, just two copies of this, just in a case. And then in the front pocket, I have a pacifier on a little pacifier clip. I have not sanitized her pacifiers or her bottles yet, um, but I will do that pretty close to when she's born. Um, and then I also have some Germex in here. Um, going to probably have one of these in every bag that we bring. Um, and then I just have some pacifier wipes, some Clorox disinfecting wipes. Um, I feel like I'm going to be wiping everything down when I arrive. And then this is just in case it came with a little uh, swaddle set I got. I can like cut out this hello my name is and write her name for a birth announcement. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not, but it takes up like no space. So I'm bringing it just in case I feel like using it. And then getting into the main bag. Up the top, I have two burp cloths. These are just like white muslin stretchy burp cloths that I got off of Amazon. Um, somebody actually got them for my baby shower, but they're from Amazon. They're like a top rated item from there. Um, and they smell so good. And then I have two bags. These are the outfits that I have packed for her. And then these are just like accessories. Um, I tried not to pack too much, um, but I want to take a lot of pictures of her. And again, I don't know how long we're going to be there. So I have this little like a side snap onesie from H&M, which will be great because I don't have to worry about putting it over her head. So that's really cute. Um, I have a couple of these plain little onesies from Carter's. So this little like blush pink one. This is a little, a darker pink one. And then this is just like a heather gray, creamy oatmeal colored one. So just plain and simple. Um, I also have this gown packed um, for easy diaper changes and it'll be cute in pictures as well. I have one sleeper packed. I don't know if I should pack more sleepers or not. You should let me know in the comments if you liked having sleepers or if you just honestly, if your baby was naked the whole time and just swaddled because I know a lot of people do that. Um, but yeah, I have one sleeper packed, this cute little bunny one. And then I have one white long sleeved onesie. And all of these are newborn sizes because I've been told that I'm gonna have a small baby. Hopefully that's true. And then in this bag, I have like hats, headbands and duties. Um, I'm packing this little bonnet for pictures because I think it would be so precious. Um, and then for hats, I have four hats packed. <laughs> 
This one is like one of those knotted ones. I don't know if it's gonna be too big on her head though. So I don't, I don't even know if this is gonna work, but I wanna bring it just in case. This hat matches the gown that I have for her. And then we just have a little pink hat with a bow and then just a little plain gray knotted hat. Um, I'm bringing three pairs of white socks and then I have three headbands to choose from. This one it being my favorite, it's this little flower, which I think is so cute. This one is a little floral pattern and this one as well is another little like floral -y pattern. So most of this stuff is um, like the bonnet and these are just for pictures, but the hats and the socks, she's definitely going to need in the hospital. And yeah, I'm just keeping them in these like Ziploc bags just to keep stuff like clean and separated and easy to find, especially if I need my husband to grab something. Like, it's like in a bag and he have, doesn't have to dig too far. Um, next, I have a nursing slash car seat cover. I'm mainly going to probably use this as the car seat cover on the drive home, um, just so that we can protect her as best we can. It smells so good. Um, and then I have a few swaddles and blankets, um, probably too many, but for pictures. So I have this pretty deer print one, which I think is precious. My sister-in-law got me that one. And then my sister got me this one. You guys know I'm obsessed with this floral pattern. So this will probably be like her birth announcement um, swaddle. And then my parents got me this really cute deer swaddle as well. So three of them. I don't think that's too many. I know that the hospital will give you a few, um, but these are more for like pictures and stuff like that because I want to take as many pictures as I can. <laughs> Um, I also have this mini first aid kit. I don't really have this for the hospital. I just have this to have in my diaper bag, but it just comes with one of those nose things, uh, nail clippers, a comb, and a hairbrush. Um, I'm not gonna need this in the hospital, but I'll need it in my diaper bag afterwards. So it's just in there already. Same with this. This is just some desitin. Um, I'm not gonna need this at the hospital, I don't think, but it's just, in my diaper bag ready to go along with this Pampers changing pad that I got for free and then the only wipes that I have in here are just a few sample packs that I want to try so the water wipes I'm really interested in and then we have some Pampers and then some Honest wipes. Um, I will probably put a handful maybe like four or six diapers in here but I plan on using mostly the hospital diapers but I'll put a few in here just in case we run out on the way home or something like that and yeah that's gonna be everything in mine and my future daughter's hospital bag um I still have to pack my husband's hospital bag and I also have to pack us some snacks um because we don't really know what the whole food situation is gonna be like. We don't know if he's allowed to leave and come back yet. Um, but yeah, let me know if there is anything you would change about what I'm packing. I would love to know if you have any tips for me as a first time mom. And uh, yeah, we will obviously be grabbing our phone chargers on and our phones on the way out as well, but there's no use in packing them now. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm 36, I keep saying I'm 36 weeks. I'm 37 weeks pregnant today. So she's, she's due July 18th. And um, we'll see when she decides to show. I can't believe that I'm filming this. It's kind of surreal. I feel like this is the last video people film and upload before they go into labor. So um, I doubt that's the case for me because I'm kind of filming this a little early. But we shall see. We shall see. But yes, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you all are staying safe and healthy during this time and are having a wonderful week. Goodbye.